Hey, what's up? Uh, Blender Quick Tip, my first video about Blender, and uh, this is a this is a quick tip, I guess. Uh, this is a feature I wasn't aware of until two minutes before, and the reason I'm making it a quick tip is I've never seen it in any big video tutorial before, or anyone use it in anything. So I guess this will probably help, and this is a really cool feature. Uh, let's check it out. Okay, so this is Blender, and uh, let's open. Actually, yeah, this is normal 3D view. Let's delete the cube and add a plane. Simple plane, and f this is a timeline actually but we're not going to use that we're going to use a file browser and uh, open my folder I have textures and the really cool feature I discovered now is that you can instead of just like go tab you unwrap it and then go to the UV editing image open image blah 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 instead of doing that what I really found great is back to object mode just uh, in the file browser just pick it up and drop it it, uh, it automatically adds a UV map on it which is cool really cool uh, I wasn't aware of this and uh, I said in many times, okay this has a UV map as you can see and it's not only limited to UV maps actually uh, it's also extended I think to the 3D viewport so this we are in per perspective mode per user perspective let's go to ortho and I have blueprints, some blueprints here, and let's just drag it and draw it. It doesn't do anything yet, but just as I press numpad 1, it has automatically added a background image of that image I just dropped onto the viewport before. And as you can see, it has automatically added the name. Uh, sorry, it has automatically uh, checked the checkbox of background image. 2012 Avantage Front dot JPEG. 2012 Avantage Front. Okay, so that's really cool feature about the 3D viewport. Another thing is, uh, let's see. I mean, the UV image editor. As you may have guessed, drag and drop. It opens the image. Instead of just you going to click image uh, and then open image and then selecting, it just says drag and drop. UV image video sequence editor. Uh, this is a cool one because in the viewport you can only add uh, image files. You can also drop, I guess, where is the, uh, come on. You can also add like I have a music file. Yeah, I have a music file here. Just drag it. Add sound strip. It has a sound strip, and it also has a sound strip and a video. Uh, I have a video. Hmm. Just drop it. Whoa. It adds two. Anyway. Uh. It asked. So that was the video of a video sequence editor. Movie clip editor, same thing. It adds the. Why is not it? Okay, it does it. And what's really cool, what another cool thing is, until now I've shown you images, media files. Now it also is uh, uh, something like scripts. So 
I think I had a script here. Yeah, meshlint. It's a Python file and just drag it. It has, it opens the Python image. Python file script. Yeah. And then go back to, oh sorry. No, this is a cool one. I found it because instead of shift Oh, sorry. Well, cycles. Cycles, cycles, cycles. And let me just go to 3D view, add a plane, <laughs> and go back to node editor. Yeah. Let me add a material. And instead of adding a, you know, input or texture, image texture, then open to the texture. What's really cool is you can just take it and it has an image texture node with the image already opened. How cool is that? And current moment you can't add like video files, I think, but you can add image textures, which is really cool. Saves a lot of precious seconds. And another thing is yeah let's go to go back to anything any window hey what's this okay another cool thing is I have a blend file here just drag it to anywhere anywhere actually and it opens the blend file see and let's go back to our new scene and uh, last thing is this isn't this is I've shown the UV, oh, sorry, file browser, but this is also available, some sort of, it, it uh, is also available in the outliner panel. So I will just add another object, monkey, push it, and give this a material. It also has a material. Let's give it a name like name and so we have our name material here selected cube it has a material now I want this material to be uh, applied to multiple objects now I can't go to each one and click name click name whoa click name so what I did what I did is just open the material in the outliner and drop 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 it adds the material we have still selected the cube see so that's also available in the uh, outliner